name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I'm Pastor Karen Dunham at Living Bread International Church, serving the Lord in the city of the great King. Wow, what a season we're in. Come from the four winds, O breath of God, and be released. Breath of God, be released. Blow on those dry bones, God. Blow on those dry bones, God. Strengthen your great army, God. Strengthen the foot soldiers, God. Strengthen those, God, that are being persecuted and beaten by Satan, God. Strengthen the workforce, God. Yes, Lord, show us your glory, God. Yes, liberate your captives, God. Give us a season, God, like unlike any other, and it's already begun. We just thank you for that, Lord. The rain of heaven is falling. The miraculous of God is breaking out. We're seeing miracles. We're seeing signs and wonders. Healing's coming for you. I mean, it is a great day to be moving with the rhythm of the Spirit. Now, maybe you're watching today, and maybe you don't even know the Lord. Or, or maybe you're wondering what it means to be born again. I meet Christians in Jerusalem sometimes and they say to me, are you one of those born again ones? And I said, well, this is what it says in the Bible. In John 3, in verse 3, Jesus said, assuredly, assuredly, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So the Lord said, assuredly, unless you're born again, you're not gonna see the kingdom of God. And Nicodemus said, how can this be? When a man gets old, he's gonna be born again, enter into his mother's womb a second time. And Jesus said, most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit a spirit and the Lord went on to say don't marvel do not marvel that you must be born again you must be born again people you we can look in Luke and we can see when the Spirit overshadowed Mary when the Spirit overshadowed Mary Christ was born and I feel the Bible says in Psalms 91 the shadow is the secret place of God. And I believe there's a place you can go in God where the Spirit of God will overshadow you and Christ will be born in you. You must be born again. Wow, it's, it's, you become a new creation. Look at us. Are we a new creation? Are we an old creation who have read a little bit, know a little bit about Jesus? Do we know just a little bit about Jesus Christ? Or have we truly become a new creation? Have we truly become born again? You must be born again. Lord, I pray right now for everybody that is walking with you, God, that has not experienced that, that they're a new creation, that they don't understand that they need to be born again, God. I ask that you overshadow them, God, with the power of your Holy Spirit, God, and let Christ birth in your soldiers, God. Let Christ birth in those that walk and call you by name, God. Lord, I ask that your people become truly that new creation, born again, God, born again of the Spirit, God, not from their mother's womb, but from the womb of God, an imperishable seed, imperishable seed, a new creation that'll never die. He said, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Come on, we become born again. We shall not perish and have everlasting life. John 3, 16, be born again and have everlasting life. Hallelujah. God bless you from Jerusalem. Bye.